Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of Rem. Wow, I've been looking forward to playing this one again. Okay, last time out, we had ourselves a breakthrough. We've opened a door using a code which used the negative space of a number code that are uh, that it just. Oh, you you gotta watch last episode. It was it was something special, right? First thing we're doing this episode. We now have the ability to backtrack around to this. So we're getting this open. No, wait. No, rotate it back. I don't think I don't think I actually opened the tunnel. So close that down. I think I left the tunnel in the wrong state. Through through here into the tunnel. Yeah, there we go. Right. Because there's plainly a pathway there that's going to be blocked unless we have it in the correct spot. So, round here. Close that. Up here. Mm-hmm. Right, round here. Okay, we'll close that. Rotate that round. Good. So that's been rotated. Now we're just clicking through. Don't worry. Don't worry about the screen going black. Literally no idea why that happened in episode one. Stopped happening for a bit in some of our episodes and has subsequently started happening again. No idea why. Right. We've moved the turntable round. And we have moved the giant room round as well. So, lightning round. We want to go from here. And we're going to go, first of all, to the lower level of the north side of the rotating room. This is the first time we've been here. Okay, what are we getting? I'm going to wait for that to load for you. Yes, here we go. The wire. The wire's coming out. So we didn't need... We didn't need... That room one code to be able to get to here... Right, wow, we're like somewhere totally new, and this is a big area as well. So hang on. Oh, so we're... we're in this area here. Okay, I mean, we could try and map this out, but... Let's go along this way first. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got a button here. Which still does nothing. I hope it's not a question of you've got to press both buttons. Because I always leave the buttons in the uh, in the previous state. So do you know what? Let's press that one down. And when we come to the other area, which we might do at some point, we'll test the other button again and see if it does anything different next time. Right, we've got one of these. Again, sort of who knows, but we'll... Uh... Put a copy of it down. Oh, and another one!
Okay. Well, let's see what we can get this way. There's just lots and lots and lots of these panels. Weird. And and the panels all look, at least on initial inspection, very similar to each other. So we've got another panel there, another panel here. So that building's got something on the top of it. Is there, a nut, is there a way into that building from around this way? It looks like there might be. It looks like there might be. Yes. Okay. One. What? I thought maybe that door was like a one-way door there for a moment. Huh. Take a screen grab of that. Oh man, yeah. Like, exploring somewhere new in this game is like, okay, are we getting clues or are we getting somewhere that we can put an answer in? So we've got a four digit code. That's interesting. There doesn't seem to be much that we can do to interact with that one. Here we can enter a four-digit code of some kind. But... I mean, we do have some four-digit codes we can use but the light and the sound are not always the same as each other. 
you know. Great, okay. We got a three digit code. And we believe we know what the three digit code is going to be. 239. Maybe. Very nice. And that's what we get. That's what we get for that code. We get to look at this. I'm really not sure what it is we're looking at there. But there's also... I mean, there's this thing here. Which, using the power of technology, we can zoom in on. And we can see that it looks like that. But this is a curious little room. With very little in it. <laughs> Maybe there's a path that's going to open up that way at some point. But it's it's going to remember our code, so that's fine. We can get back in there easily enough. Hmm, okay. I'm hesitant to leave this area so quickly. Like, in terms of four-digit codes... Like, we have... Like, no idea what that does. For a start. We've got little, uh... Little Enderman here. I'm just wondering. No, he doesn't resemble. He doesn't resemble any of these that we saw earlier. So I don't worry about that too much. So okay. And then in terms of this four-digit code. I mean, like, 3285? <coughs> nah, that's not the one. We've got a three-digit code there. The symbology doesn't quite look... Yeah, it doesn't quite look correct for that. And then as far as this thing goes... is not random. I think that does the same thing every time. But I'm going to go back uh, to the recording after this episode, and I'm going to check it. I will, I will certainly be checking it out.
But yeah, really strange. So each of these have panels. Yeah, those are a little bit... Uh, yeah, we don't know what those are right now. Okay. So. We can get back into here now. Let me just quickly consult my map. I think it would be good. So, water pipes... Da, 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 broken bridge. Yes, we can do the broken bridge now without rotating this at all. So we're going to come out here. Yeah. Here, here, here. This. What? Hang on. Does that not look like a little bit of something to you? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Um, this game is definitely one of those games where the more of a map you can try and hold in your head at, the, at one time, the better time you're going to have with it, for sure. So we're going to go this way, this way, this way, and then... Shortcut. Shortcut unlocked. Oh, lovely. Right. You just got to press the button on both sides. I'm glad we went back and checked that. That is super duper handy because now we can get back there even after we've rotated this the other way. So, how am I now going to rotate this? We need to go. Uh, yeah, we leave upper. Yeah, we go back this way, this way, this way still. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna drop down drop down here as we did before. And now we're gonna turn round and go this way. Wait, there we go. Up and over. Round this corner here. Yeah, we call the room. Now, to get to... Uh, yeah, to get to where we need to go, we need it the... Um, other direction. And do we need to do upper or lower or does it not matter? Uh, I think we need lower actually. Black screen for you guys there. It always happens in the same places. Always happens in the same spots every time. I'm very sorry for it, because it, it must be incredibly distracting when you're watching to be constantly having that happening. Right, so we can now come through here. Now we can go this way. And our bridge is actually still here, because we never came back this direction, if you recall. Through the tunnel. 
down the stairs. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We don't want to go through this tunnel. That takes us to the wrong side of the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad we went the wrong way, that way. Because we needed to remember to come back through here and replace this bridge where it needs to go. Okay. Okay then, this way, this way, this way. Uh, then turn to the right and we're going to go down this path. Over the bridge we just put there. Wait for that stack to load again. And now we have rotated this round. Boom. Right. So now, close the doors. No, can't go up. Can go down. Aha, right, so there's a floor here. No, okay. Just this. And this is this has been difficult to get to as well, right? So this is now taking us this path here. Okay. We are getting some Yeah! Yeah! That was so it was so bait, wasn't it? It was so bait that you would have to put that the correct way round before you come this way. Imagine coming all this way and you just don't have it. No, hang on, wait, are we not going to be able to get through here then? No. Yes? Huh. Okay. Where are we now, then? Well, it's somewhere new. And I tell you what, unless we unlock a shortcut, it's going to be somewhere new that's going to be kind of hard to come back and forth to. Huh. Just random plank of wood. So, we have come through here. Yeah, we're off the map on this side. We've come out of this building here, and we're now over here somewhere. Yeah, I ain't fiddling with that. Right, so we've got a walkway here which needs raising. Okay. Well, that's that's a lock that will prevent that walkway from raising. But I assume we raise the water level in here, and that's gonna do it. 
So, okay. Tell you what, that looks so sus, doesn't it? But okay. We'll come back out this way. No, this can't be a dead end. Yeah, there's like nothing else here. We've got, we've literally just got one building, it's got one panel and it's got something above it, but it's locked. And that's a symbol we don't, I don't really recognise. I mean... At a oh, sorry guys, I, I left my notebook up this whole time. Oh, very sorry about that. Like, at a stretch... You kind of make it out of a diamond... A line... But how would square and circle fit into that? I'm not really sure. Uh. And as for this thing... Oh dear. We were making such great progress there. And suddenly we've been brought to a screeching halt. Um, let's check this thing out then, I guess. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I guess we're somewhere new. Tiny trains in the chat, my friends. Tiny trains in the chat. Wait, has that just locked the train in place? Well, so it can't go forward. Ah, it can't go backwards either. Yeah, we've been locked in place. This is again, it's something new.
like you definitely can't accuse this uh you definitely can't accuse this game of being short or being thin on ideas right all right let's try it round round from the left first I will admit, I'd sort of thought that um, the map that we had in the instruction manual Wait, hang on, wait, I've got myself disoriented now No, that's the direction we came from Wait, no it's not, hang on Sorry. Right. Here's the direction we came from. Right. We wander through past the fence. Right. There's the fence. And we're now out here. Wait for that to load for you. I see. I see. Right. So here's, here's more monorail track. Right. But what if the track bends? No, we've been... Wait a minute. Oh, we couldn't get past it before because... Right, this is where we were. This is where we were. Right, fine. And we've, and we've just driven the train into there. So we're not stuck here at all. We've just moved the train, effectively. We've moved the train out of our way. There's a really suspect looking beach ball there. Huh. Okay, let's not worry about that straight away but yeah it looks like there's going to be similar panels on each side of that building and that's going to open the doors for us I guess right okay doesn't look like there's an obvious way to get to that path yet okay, just wait for that to load for you No, it looks like we're gonna get like stairs or 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 or, or this is like a ramp which is going to t -t 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 come down for us maybe right water level too high aha nice kind of like kind of like what we have on the opposite side Well, similarly, there's going to be another path up there that we can only get to if we come the opposite way around that one, right? going through all the possible permutations of, of that and, and we have fiddled with that as a sample yeah you know the example template but hmm so we can push that down and then if we come back here and pull this one up... Ah, that well, this this is now open for us anyway. Oh, 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 new map! New map, that's what we like to see.
Ah, right, look. There's a ladder underneath the monorail that's just got stuck there. So, we're going to take a, take a screenshot of that clue. Right, but then we're also going to take a map. And this map, north is oriented upwards, which is kind of nice, isn't it? So, we're going to make that nice and big, just like the last one. And, um, and you know what, I, th I think it would actually make sense to orient it the same way round as the other thing. So... Where are we here? No, 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 no. This is the same. This is the same thing as as ever, isn't it? Right? Yeah, we've got. So, what are the what are the red things then? Right. This this is our same. This is our same map as we ever have. Yeah. This is your rotating room. This is the door behind the door is like here. We've got the water pipes up here. This is the elevator. So we're still uh, we're still off the map somewhere in this direction. This green thing. <clears throat> this is that little shed where you hit the thing at the top of the wall and it doesn't do anything. That red one there... These red ones, I think, are the button devices? No, actually, no. They're not all button devices. Like, there's a button device there. But no, this doesn't quite fully work out. But okay, right, so that's that's not the whole story. Okay, but the water in this whole area is lower now. If we come through this way, yes, we do indeed have a path that's now open this direction. Complete with flickering lights. Oh, hey, look, we've got a beach ball. <sighs> hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of that beach ball. I'm going to draw an arrow for the direction that it rotates round as well. And uh, just for completeness, is that beach ball the same as this other beach ball in the picture? I mean, it probably is, but like, what have you got? Red, yellow, purple, blue, green, orange. <laughs> you don't. It's a different beach ball. It's a different beach ball. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, so we're going to need to work out that code somehow. Spooky. Spooky, spooky. No idea how to get to that panel, but we can... Basically, we can get to, like... Basically, we can get to, like, some of those panels okay. 
Oh, do you know what? I know I know how to get to that path. That path is going to be via the ladder below this thing. But how do you how do you get that out? Who knows, right? Yeah, so there's a ladder under that. And that's going to be how we get to that path over there. So just as a quick check then. How many of, how many combinations even exist here, right? So if I start at a uh, line, circle, diamond, right? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight. Which makes sense, right? So each one is one of two. So actually eight is, is all of the combinations you can do. It's worth checking. It's worth checking. Does that give you feedback when you have the first one correct? So that so we've done one. So, like, do they all have to be correct, or, or will they? Will it give you feedback on them individually? Is three. Yeah, it looks like it's going to demand that all four are correct before it gives you any feedback on them. That's number seven. And so this one's going to be the last one. Yeah, so you, you need all four to be correct before it gives you any feedback on any of them. And there we go, we're back round to where we started. Okay, well. What an episode, my friends. What an episode. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough. That's all we're going to have time for today. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy these first-person puzzlers, leave a like button. You know, my u my usual um, like ratio is around about 10% on this, but I reckon, you know, if you've watched this many of the episodes in the series, hitting the like button is one of the best things you can do in terms of showing, uh, you know, feeding back to me that this is the kind of content that you really want as opposed to, you know, the other games that we're playing. Um... Also, subscribe. That would also be great. But I'm assuming you are subscribed by now, to be honest, if you're like 10 episodes into this series. I will see you soon. Have a great week. Bye for now.